Hi, today I want to show you some tricks with Python. So you got this uh, WAV file here and you guess, can I um, transform it in an MP3? Being these 43 megabytes, it's a little too much. So go in the command line and uh, write pym like this way and uh, um, WAV MP3 and then continuum dot wav okay wave and you see here i transformed it into an empty free in a in a matter of seconds how do i do this magic trick uh you see it's two uh three megabyte uh, versus 43 megabytes so it's very convenient but how I uh, did it I did it with FFmpeg and Python of course and it's um, a little a little bit of code here what you see there is a command of FFmpeg here and uh, Python here is launching it and uh, it takes the argument as I see as you saw um, I when I did here the command line open terminal into this window, I did uh, pi uh, minus m and uh, and the name of the file to convert this one. So this is the argument that I'm going to put them and to put to convert this file into this output.mp3. And so, but how I did it with this minus m here things and um, I need to do this I need to go into into the into Python uh, installation folder I want to show you how you can do it open the terminal doing like I did uh, Windows and uh, R um, on the keyboard and then you do uh, enter in Python and so you import sys, import os, and then os.start, start file, or if you are on the Mac, I don't know if there is, you can do system, okay, but we will do for the Windows start file, and then sys3, like this, press enter, sorry, sys, dot path three okay and then you will be prompt here into this uh, folder into the uh, Python that we are using and then in, you see here site packages go in here and you need to have a file like this pymodules.pth let me open it where you just put um, the folder where you want to put your um, your modules, your code. So you saw uh, the code of the um, that I used. That was this one, and it's called WAV MP3.py. And you have seen this text here that has been saved as Py modules, but you can call it wherever you want. Dot pth. Now um, you have to save this file here and you will find it in my post and you will save it into that folder so I am here into the H drive here mine you can put it wherever you want and uh, then pi modules I got my modules in my folder that I called pi modules you can call it with another name if you want if you prefer if you don't remember uh, this type of name and you see all my modules are are here you see them pi modules there it is and so there is one module here that is called um, that is called wav dot wav mp3 okay and there it is wav mp3 so when uh, once I put it here once I saved my PyModules pth.pth file with uh, uh, the destination where my modules are, I can go in um, wherever, wherever I want 
in uh, in any folder of mine where I have my wave file without having to put my modules there because I can call it from the let me go into another file music into this one for example here I got this file here anthem and I wanted to convert it into an mp3 so I go again by minus m uh, wave mp3 that is the name of the module that I saved in my pi modules and that I have in that folder that I showed before pdh in the dot pdh file and then I write anthem dot wave and you see here it's done I get my output here mp3 that is this one it's exactly the same but it's an mp3 it's more, more smaller than this so that's how you can create your um, your program here to convert a Wi-Fi to MP3, and that's how to use any modules from any folder uh, in the way that I did. Just going into the uh, site packages um, folder and uh, make what I just made uh, before saving that .phd file. Thank you, and see you next.